Hey guys and welcome to Slash Race Games. Today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to split your screen up for multiple player views and stuff like that. So basically here is a, a diagram that's going to kind of explain a bit how, of how it works. So on the left we've got our game room. Um, it could be as big as we want. I mean it could be like 10,000 pixels, whatever, you know, with, and, and whatever. And over here at the left, top left, we've got the region of player 1. And at the bottom here we've got a region of player 2. And here on the right we've got the game window. So basically what we're going to try and do is we're going to take these regions of playable area and we're going to map them to the game window. So basically we do this. So the left, top left player goes on to the left side of the screen and the bottom right player goes onto the right side of the screen. And you can split it up either way you want. So in this case I've got for example a 720 screen, uh, P screen and then we're splitting it in half down the middle, so it's kind of like a square. Check that out. Otherwise, you can go for two rectangles, but that's kind of limiting. So this is the way that we're going to do it for this one. And basically, there we go. See, we set up a view 0 and we set up a view 1 of each player's turf, and both players will be able to see a bit of their area uh, on the game window. So let's jump into a project, and I'll show you exactly how you can do this. So here's a project. Uh, I've just got some sprites. We've got our player 1 over there, and our player 2. And then we've got, you know, some things here for the walls and whatnot. And in the background, I've got this got this tile set over there. And objects, I've just got some basic movement here for these for these player one and player two objects. Player one is handled with WCD and player two uses the arrow keys. So if we go to our game room over here, notice there are no views set up. So if we had to run this project right now, it's just gonna display the entire game room mapped to the entire screen, so that's not exactly what we want. So here I've got player 1 at the bottom and player 2 right here at the top left. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable some views, so we're going to map the area around the players to half and half of the screen. So to do this, we are going to go to the top of views, make sure you're on the views tab, we're going to enable the use of views, go down to view 0, this is going to be our first one, and we're going to put view 0 with player 1 here at the bottom right. So, we're going to make sure that it's visible when room starts, notice that it's now drawing this box, over here, okay, but we don't want it to be near player 2, we want it to go all the way down to player 1, right down over here. So we've got some options, it says here view in room, now these are the coordinates, this x and y, of where the player, or you know, or the start of your specific view is going to be in your room. Notice room, not porting on screen, this is the room. So in this case it's right down here at the bottom right. So I'm going to set this up, in this case it's about 2360, and our Y is 2280. See there? Now it's it's drawn the box down here. That's the origin here, right of the box. And it's drawing it a specific width. Notice that's this, W and H, width and height. Now because I'm going for a 720p, you know, overall screen, and I'm splitting it down the middle, it means our width is going to be half, seven, uh, 1280 right over here. This is our width of the full screen, 1280, but I want that half. So half of 1280 is 640. Check that out. So now it's drawing that box to exactly the edge. Notice there's, that's pretty cool. And our height's still going to be 720. We, we want it to fill the, the complete height of our screen. So now you've got here port on screen. So this is basically, do you want it to be on the left or the right hand side of the screen? Going back to our diagrams, let's open one up. So that's over here. This is uh, port to screen. So porting view 0, you can start at 0, 0, and then, you know, its width, and then view 1 would be 640, right over there, and then its width. So let's go back to here, port to screen. So this is player 1. So player 1 is going to be put on the left-hand side, so it's going to start at 0, 0, that's going to be the origin there. And its width is going to be 640, because we only wanted to fill, uh, fill up half of the screen. The height is the same. It's going to be following object player 1. And here we've got our H bore and our V bore. This is our horizontal and vertical border. So uh, how many pixels away from the border do we want to get to before it starts, you know, moving the view? So in this case, I'm going to say 300 pixels. And speed at minus one, that's fine. Okay, so that is setting up view zero. So that's half of the job done. So now what we're going to do is click on view one. Make sure it's visible. So we've done this view. Notice it still s still shows there that that one's set up. We're going to go to the top here, top left. Notice it's got a second view. See, there are the two views. And you can keep adding views, and it'll keep drawing these little boxes. So here we go. View 1. And in this case, it's at 0, 0. That's our view in room right there. That's the origin. Just like the other one, our width is half, 1, 2, 8, 0. Oh, so that's 640. There we go. It's drawing the width there. Exactly right. Our height is still 720. 
reporting on the screen. Now this player is going to be put on the right hand side of the screen. So if we go back to our diagram, right over here, that's going to start over there. That's our origin right over there. And then it's going to draw its width and its height from there. Make sure that it occupies only the right hand side of the screen. Over here, port to screen. This is not going to be zero zero like the last one. Instead, this is going to be 640 because we want to draw it from the middle of the screen. And Y is going to be zero 02. That's fine. Again, our width only 640, just like that. And then we're going to be following player 2. We can set these to 300 also. And our speed of minus 1 and minus 1 is fine. So there we go. I mean, it's as simple as that. So in this case, we've got half and half. You can see that these two squares, they kind of will be adding up to 1, 2, 8, 0, 7, 20 in the end. We're going to have player 1 on the left, player 2 on the right. And we'll be able to see both of their views on one of our screens. So if you wanted, to, for example, to have four players, you add another player to this corner and another one to the top right corner, then you could take this 1, 2, 8, 0, 7, 20 screen and divide it by four, you know, four blocks, and then just map those out and make sure that you set up the port on the screen right. So I suggest you fiddle around with the kind of ways that you can port to the screen and stuff like that. So, you know, see how many guys you can add and uh, make sure that each player's got enough space on their view to kind of see around. You know, that's why in the 720p example, I've gone for a, a 640x720 kind of view instead of a 128x360 because it'll be kind of letterbox, but it'll be weird. You won't be able to see a lot uh, height-wise, you'll see a lot of width, but not a lot of height, so that'll be kind of weird. So let's save these changes, make sure that we've got everything set up, both of them are visible, all good. We're going to save, we're going to save this project, and run, see what happens. There we go. So here on the left-hand side we've got player 1, and he uses WSAD, and on the right-hand side we've got player 2, and they are on completely different sides of our map, you know. So here we go, let's see if we can navigate both of them simultaneously if they can meet up if we can remember what this looks like oh this is challenging oops nope no nope, nope there we go okay oh my oh my find them oh, there they are there we go so there we go see so each player is uh, has got their view ported to one side of the screen. They're having their own game experience, but they're running in the same room on the same computer using the same keyboard. Pretty interesting, just like that. So that's a, a split screen right down the middle. You can do any other kinds of split screens, and um, obviously the bigger resolution you, you're working with, uh, the, the, the more view you can give to each person. So in this 720p example, obviously, um, I've got a half and half, but if, it was, if you're going like full HD, you can split it into quarters, and have like four players depending on how many simultaneous key presses your keyboard can support or if you've got some controllers that you've set up also. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you can have a bit of a game party on one PC if, you, if you're kind of making a game like that. So it's a very simple multiple player game. Just like that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe for more. If you're feeling generous, please feel free to check out my Patreon campaign, trying to raise some money to make this channel even better than it is right now. Maybe we can even reach an ad-free existence. That would be really cool. You can find the project files for GameMaker Studio as well as GameMaker 8 right in the description. If you have any questions about views, maybe you're still a little unsure about how you can uh, split your views up into more than two, leave it in the comments. I can answer any sort of queries you may have. As always, happy coding, and I'll see you guys next time for another great GameMaker tutorial.